What's up guys, it is Starflord here. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Dragon Age 4 speculations video and today is going to be all around Solus. So I thought let's give you guys some background onto Solus. Now he grew up in a small village and was mainly a wanderer, kind of wandering forests uh, and whatnot. And he taught himself how to master magic. Now he was talking to some elders in his travels. However, ma mainly he's mastered magic by himself. And a lot of games, not only Dragon Age 4 and a lot of lore, depicts people that can master magic themselves without any a master or someone, or some teacher, is extremely powerful and is maybe. All also partly why he is in fact a god. Uh, now he is and was massively interested in the Fade and he was able to learn about the Fade, the Veil and how to manipulate rifts through lucid dreaming uh, and we can see that he has already done that now because he has been able to do things like manipulate rifts in Dragon Age Inquisition. Now he is in fact Fen Harel the Dreadwolf which is kind of related to uh, Loki in the fact that he is kind of a deceiver, a betrayal, betrayer, but there has been some things saying that he has actually done right. Now th I'm not sure there is a story called the Slow Arrow where there is some of his people asking him to help and save them from a massive beast. He goes there, he shoots an arrow up into the sky after he learned he could not kill the beast and then went away and they were like why aren't you saving us he said what do you mean I, what, I was never said that I would save you and this beast eventually went to kind of start laying devastation on the town and then eventually the arrow came down and killed the beast therefore kind of making him a hero in some cases the children there obviously mourn over their parents deaths uh, but eventually they actually kind of worshipped him in some cases and this story is just one that I think is quite nice because it shows that he there is a bad side but there is also maybe a good side. Now the Dreadwolf Solace actually locked up all of the gods, the creators and even uh, their enemies which caused a lot of bad things to come to elves and he did say that they are still alive. That might have something to do in with Dragon Age 4. But he does say that he has made a mistake by a younger elf. That, well, locking the gods was a mistake by a younger elf. Which kind of means that he is something new and he has changed. And he wants to make his wrongs right and save his people. But I'm wondering, mainly depending on whether you formed a good relationship with Solas, maybe he would want to save more than just his people, because if you don't know, he kind of wants to destroy our entire world to save his people. So, let's get on to what I think Solas might do. Now, Solas actually has to kind of destroy our world, that's what he said, and Towards the end, he kind of seems very sorry about it. And from this I kind of thing, he's l planning to basically extinct our world uh, and everything in it to be able to save his own. But things like the slow arrow story and also just him in the game makes me think that he might not absolutely just destroy the world. So I'm wondering what will happen now obviously the game will be set into winter maybe not to winter many people have said maybe it's like a set in an entire north or uh, maybe both to do with the south to make a huge game because like in Dragon Age Inquisition it was a really large world uh, however they might even make it larger but Tevinter will definitely have something to do with it therefore Dorian will definitely be in the game and the coon might be because there is a war going on but that might be kind of a side topic even though my last video kind of made that the main topic but anyway I was thinking it would be cool uh, to see maybe that Solus actually starts attacking the Inquisitor because obviously the Inquisitor and the Inquisition being the main force of protecting our world obviously Solus is going to have to kind of end us and I was thinking and many other people have thought that maybe we aren't going to be the Inquisitor won't be the protagonist will be someone new and also something that I thought is kind of obvious is that the Inquisitor then they, they lost their arm because of the mark which means like it wouldn't really work 
but I was wondering maybe Solas might be attacking the Inquisitor in a big fight, just like in kind of the Origins, and and maybe you are fighting for the Inquisitor, you can't help him kill Solas or whatnot, or you are helping him, uh, Solas maybe spares you, because at that point you are not maybe strong enough, but the Inquisitor might die. And it seems kind of harsh, and I've seen people say this exact theory, and I was kind of thinking of it too, and now it's just been backed up by quite a few other people, and obviously it's just a speculation, but mainly it's, Solas actually killing the Inquisitor in some cases might be a good thing, because it will make you have so much more hatred towards Solas. If anyone has played this game, I feel like there is a lot of emotion and personality built towards Solas, whether you hate him or like him at the moment, and I think him doing that, because you have played the Inquisitor, uh, you've shaped them who they are, I think Solas actually attacking and killing the Inquisitor will just make you hate him so much then that you will want to do something and the game will have much more of a purpose. So this would be a great way also to start the game, obviously to set the purpose up and set the rest of the game up for maybe stopping Solas doing whatever he wants or maybe helping him save his people but at the same time stopping him destroying our entire world. And basically that is what I think Solas will do. I'm not sure what else there could be with Solas. I couldn't actually say what Solas will go and do in the future. I just think maybe there's going to be a big fight at the start to set the game up and towards the end or throughout the entire game you're stopping Solas or helping him and stopping him at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure what else there is to say really but that's one speculation I think is a strong possibility. Now, because the Inquisitor is not going to be the protagonist, obviously you will be a, a new protagonist. And when I was thinking, what could they do, you know, in Inquisition and Dragon Age 2, you kind of just picked who you wanted to be, boom, you started playing. Whereas in Origins, depending on whether you were an elf, a dwarf, uh, a human, you had your own starting zone and it was pretty awesome. I remember playing dwarfs being in their city and then it, when you were a human you were in that city and the starts were different but then eventually obviously you all went to the same point. So it's just like most games you have a different starting zone and then you go all into the main zone of it and I was thinking that this could be based on race but what I would think is even more interesting is based on a class because obviously in Dragon Age Inquisition there is a lot of difference and differentiation between classes rather than races. In many games you get races that have all kinds of say mages, warriors and rogues uh, whereas in Dragon Age and this universe, it seems that mages are kind of one side, rogues are another, and warriors are another side. So I would think it would be pretty awesome if we got class-based starting zones, because that would just be epic, I think. And then eventually, obviously, maybe make our way over to the Inquisition. They have found us because they want us to be part of the Inquisition. And then that's when we find Solas attacking. So no matter what you play as, you have your own starting zone. And then the Solas attack you would be in no matter what you are. And I would just think that is really cool. Because obviously then you get your own class fill. They could bring their own lore into it. And then everyone goes over to the Solas attack. And I think that would be a great way to start off the game. And set the rest of the game up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just listening to me waffle on about some Dragon Age 4 speculation. If you agree, put a comment below. If you don't, just put whatever you want below. I like seeing what you guys think will be in a Dragon Age 4 and your speculations. So just put comments below on what you think, what you think and what I've said on what you think might happen. But again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. I